No kissing for three months dating rule is ideal. So you, you think that? Well, if I'm looking for someone to keep, not someone that I let go of, do you, mm -hmm. do you think I want somebody who is not this in my inner circle? For sure. <laughs> right? Yeah. So if I know who belongs in my inner circle, why would I have somebody dishonest around me? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a, do you, do you apply the same rule to any sexual orientations? No, there's no gender here. Do you know why? Because this is logic. Logic doesn't care what gender you are. Logic doesn't care what gender you want to love. Doesn't mm -hmm. care how old you are. Doesn't care where you live. Doesn't care what culture you were indoctrinated into. Logic simply is and is always available to use by anybody who wants to apply logic. Okay. I don't know. But it, you're kind of right through that in the, in the, Gay men culture, it's like smack, 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 like all the way. And I think that there's people who are okay with it, but it didn't work for me. <laughs> it didn't work for me. Yes. And like hookup culture is like ruining my life. But I know that there is a lot of gay men who are okay with it. And, right. you know. Let me ask you this. Do you think you're the last gay man on earth who thinks the way you do? Well, I don't identify as a gay man, but I'm part of the community, kind of. But like, am I the last person who thinks like that? No, I don't think so. I'm exactly. Not, not. So all you have to do is not occupy the space beside you with somebody who doesn't think the way you want them to think. And instead you go, I'm going to let you talk first. Show me who you are first. No kissing, no sex, no divorce, no school. Mm -hmm. And if you're too impatient to find out who I am, you're not for me. But mm -hmm. I know I'm not the last person on earth who's like me. So I'm, if I want a monogamous relationship, that's a two seater car. I'm not going to put somebody in the seat beside me who isn't like me. I want the person who matches my energy. And until I meet that person, I'm not occupying the space beside me with a selfish short term thinker. Mm -hmm. When what I want is a generous long term thinker. I just have the feeling that, you know, kissing is fun. So, uh, so nobody's stopping you body count doesn't matter who you do is not who you are but I don't have any fun kissing and falling for somebody that once I start to see mm -hmm. who they truly are I'm complaining he's such an asshole that's no fun for me mm -hmm. because I do believe in long term because people think that because I'm polyamorous I don't believe in long term and that's not true like you can have like long term and stable relation even if you're polyamorous and you can also be very like a relation that is about fidelity but the thing is that do you think that these people who say that they found long-term love with hookup culture do you think they are lying or do you think they're just different and you have a different way to think than them so there's two ways to start a relationship one is the lotto ticket methodology I make my purchase and then I wait to find out if it's a winner or a loser. That's the kiss before you know who they are. That's the other way. Now, if you kiss and you end up in the best relationship you've ever had, mm -hmm. you got lucky. So maybe you had good intuition. You had a good feeling. You're like, oh, like everything about me says yes about this person. And that intuition was right. Or you fell into this. It started as a hookup, but it developed into an incredible relationship and you got lucky. I don't deny the existence of luck or intuition, but that's not what I teach. What mm. I teach is using knowledge and insight to make an informed decision. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I understand what you mean. I mean, I, I cannot say like, I, I didn't try it, so I, I cannot say <laughs> it works or not, but... Can I point you somewhere? So this account right here is Canada's dating coach. That's me. That's my main account. This is my second account. This is where I host my live streams. This is where I post my TikToks. On this account, in my three pinned TikToks, the very first one says, comment your experience using the no kissing for three months dating rule. Mm -hmm. If you want to know what happens to people when they do this, go read those comments. I just followed you in both accounts here and... Yes. Yeah. Let me, let me follow you back, my love. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So I'm here Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern time for a minimum two hours, and I hold this space for you. 
I hold it for you to come and ask questions. I hold it for you to go exercise some of this. I hold it for you to come back and say, hey, I got your book and I started reading it. I, I started doing what's in the book. I started dating. I started applying this. I rejected my first person or I went on a first date and it was great. Like I, I hold the space for you to come back and keep me involved so I can help you on this journey. But the big question is, how do you like because the moment you make you put these rules i just thought about that right now like i it just popped in my head so like the moment you you put these rules it means that when you kiss someone in a bar it means that they will never be your 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 partner and if you decide to not kiss someone is that you decide that they, so it's like it's a little bit random it's like you're you're deciding who's not gonna be and who's gonna be we're not being random we're being thoughtful and conscientious and self-informed and self-aware before i put this into play before uh -huh. i start using a no kissing for three months dating rule i ask myself what do i want because i'm not going around just falling into the whims of other people falling into the orbit of other people and uh -huh. not centering myself and not having self-awareness. I'm not doing that. I'm going to ask myself, what do I want? Do I just want casual? Do I just want fun? Do I still have curiosities? Do I still have some kinks I want to try? Some body types I want to try? Do I just want to not be accountable to anybody so that when I'm at a party and people are upstairs having a good time and I happen to walk in the room and I see what's going on, they go, come join us. I can go, okay, because I just want to. Why not? So if I'm still in this place, then I'm not looking for a long-term relationship. Uh -huh. If I've done this phase and I am ready, I want to get married, I want to have kids, I know when I want to do that, I want to find the person who's aligned with my goals and values because I want to start building a life with a partnership, I'm mm -hmm. done my hookup phase, then I use a no kissing for three months dating rule because I'm not going to confuse myself. Oh, okay, I understand. Yeah, no, okay. But what if you, you, you uh, when you did your hookup phase, uh, you, there is a person who's like, Hey, I'm interested in, in you. Will you like considerate them? Well, I get to ask myself, do I want a long-term relationship right now? Or do I need to cut this person loose because they're developed emotions and I'm not ready to facilitate anything for them. I just wanted some fun. Mm -hmm. So let's just say I hooked up with somebody. And the thing is, hookups should not be situationships. We're not going to fall for the hookup. So mm -hmm. a hookup is once or twice and then done. So let's say I hook up with somebody and he goes, you know what? Like, I mean, I like you more than I thought I would. Can I take you on a date? I need to ask myself, am I ready for a long-term relationship? If the answer is no, I say no. Sorry, go find somebody else to date since you seem to mm -hmm. want a relationship. I was just looking for a hookup. If mm -hmm. I hook up with somebody and they say, hey, you know what? I think I want something long term with you. Can I take you on a date? I'm going to say, okay, no kissing for three months because I'm not going to pick a relationship with somebody who's wrong for me and I don't yet know who you are. So if you want consistency, my consistent kisses, my consistent sex, my exclusivity, me rejecting other people for you, I know what I'm looking for. So I'm not going to pick somebody who's not what I'm looking for just because I hooked up with them and now they want a relationship. Just remember me that when I, I don't do like really grander anymore. You know what is grander, right? Yeah. I don't really do grander anymore because I don't know, like I think my libido like went down after 25 years old for some reason or for some traumas. I remember like there is a lot of guy that they say like, no, I only like keep the back door smacks and the kisses for relations and talking with you kind of makes more sense, you know? So here's, are you single, my love? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. I would recommend you grab one of my dating books. Now, I don't write it from your positioning. I write it from a hetero positioning because the number one rule of writing is write what you know. I don't have the right to speak as though I've stood in your shoes when I haven't. Mm -hmm. But everything that I write is logic and you can apply it. If you read one of my books, you just kind of jimmy the language in your head to apply it to your situation. So if you want your dating advice with more storytelling, this is the book you want to get. If you like your advice to be more concise, this is the book you want to get.